Hey guys, I'm Tesla, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a little trick that I use to get the player looking like he's being damaged by fire. Okay, so let's start by opening up the Starts Content folder and then the Blueprints folder, and inside here you'll find the Blueprint Effect Fire. So all it is is a particle system with some audio. Now let's make it so when we get close to this fire, it's going to look like it's damaging the player. So let's crack the Blueprint open and come to the Components tab. And now what we can do is add in a post-process component just here and then we can make this go black and white so we can grab uh, where is it and grab this one make it go black and white grab the fringe intensity turn it all the way up so it gives that kind of blurry effect and yeah let's stick with that now this is actually applied globally which is not what we really want so what we can do is scroll all the way down to the bottom and uncheck unbound however it's still applied globally so to fix this what we can do is add in a shape so we could add in a sphere and let's make the radius a bit larger and imagine this is where the player is going to collide with it and apply that effect so with our sphere we can now drag and drop the post process volume onto it to make it a child and now when we enter the sphere that effect now gets applied but we can also grab the post process volume and turn up the blend radius as well so it will start blending before we even enter the sphere so the effect will be applied gradually and then also in the graph we could grab the sphere and then right click add an event for it collision begin overlap so when the player enters the sphere we could just make sure it will be the player by casting to him we could then apply damage which could then be hooked up to a health variable okay so let's give it a test so this is all looking normal and then if we jump it we could probably bring down that blend radius but we can see that we get that effect happening now okay guys that's it for this tutorial just looking at how we can create uh, a fire which can interact with the player so thanks for checking it out and make sure you stay subscribed and if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one shooting please get in touch cheers guys